And hello everybody, welcome to my 1.1 play world, where I actually come and play and have fun and hang out and do things legitimately. Um, the, the tutorial can be featuring Industrial Craft 2, 1.71 as the current version, EE uh, Equal Exchange 2, 1.38, and uh, Red Power 4, uh, pre-release 4D. Now, I have really wanted to create immense like, tons of amounts of power in industrial craft, but don't want to build a nuclear reactor because it's scary as all hell. Well, I'll show you how to make a crazy amount of power here, like up to actually 512 EU per tick without having to build a reactor. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, why build a reactor? There's dangers, it costs a ton of money and resources. So why bother with it? So I'm gonna go down here and build it down here in my power room, which will this will become my power room anyways. And apparently I had an Enderman come down here. Oh well. Anyway, this is my um, so first thing I do is pick a spot, and I've got pretty much oops, dang it, everything here that I need. Uh, okay, got an MFSU to store the power. The geothermal generator, which will make the power, they produce 25 EU per tick, 26 to 512 EU per tick, a filter, a condenser, some collectors. You'll probably only need one collector, but um, initially you're going to need a whole bunch to, because this will create lava cells that will feed the geothermal generator. Uh, let's see the wiring and everything else all right here. So first thing I do is pick a spot. I'm going to pick right here and place down my geothermal generator. And you probably wanted to go the other way. Um, yes, I do. Okay, that's easy enough to take care of. Oh, I didn't bring my wrench with me like a dingbat. Pulling a oops, tire wolf here. Really gotta find a way of going up and down that a little quicker and easier, but yeah, well, what can you do? Tools, here we are. Electric wrench. So let's go back on downstairs here and continue on our little build here. There you go, that's why you want to go that way. Then I'll put down a cable just so I can do a little bit of measuring here. I want this to come over and over one more. Right there, yeah, that will work. Now, I'll be able to take, dig out a 5x5. Five five. One too many. Okay. Dig out a five by five pit here. One, two, three, four. Now you can start putting down, oops, hold on, not yet, my bad. Over here you want another one, two, eliminate that. Uh, right, one this way and one this way. Take your collectors and your condenser. Oops. There we go. Condenser, condenser, condenser. Oops. Dang it. Here we go. Now, put your lava cell right there. I'll start cranking them out. I'm going to need a lot of those, so might as well let that start now. And while we're building the rest of this, it'll produce them. Oops. 
filter, and I'm probably going to need my, my little bag of tricks here. My screwdriver, which is not in here. Son of a bitch. Okay, well. Yes, I'm pulling a dire wolf here, aren't I? <laughs> Never prepared. I don't have my, my logistic pipe either with the teleporter trick. Uh, got set up, I haven't got the pipes with me. One screwdriver. Filter. And yeah, it's facing backwards. I thought I was going to use a screwdriver for that. Oops, I had right off the bat too, didn't I? There we go. And your pneumatic pipes. So five by five. And one extra right there. The thing is, five by five would produce produce twenty twenty produce five hundred EU per tick. It's just a little less than what an MFS you can output. Let's see, five hundred twelve EU per tick. So, if you want to produce more than it can actually you can output to keep it draining itself out completely, you need to produce another single e, um, geothermal generator. So. It's one. Two, I'll put these things down on top of the pipes here. In a five by five plus one pattern. There's much space here, but you don't need much space. This little bit of space here will produce a crap ton of power. And they won't explode like a nuclear reactor will either. Which is the uh, positive here. This won't explode. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to have enough of these yet, am I? Okay, well, I will be back in a minute here. I'm going to pause, let this build up enough cells to do the next part. And then we'll, from there, we'll go from there. So, see you back in a few minutes, folks. Alright, welcome back again. And while I was waiting for those to charge up, I put in my little requester pipe here, so... And then clear my inventory out into my bag, because I'm going to need a lot of room here for my, in, my inventory. Now I got a good number of lava cells here. You want to take as many as you can, and we're going to what I call prime these geo generators, geothermal generators. <laughs> Each one will take 24 to charge up this little bar here. Then you put another 64 to fill it up, and you just do this for all of the generators here. And now the last of the uh, geothermal generators have been primed here. Now why do I do this? Well, it makes things a little easier when I to for the system to keep up. And now all I have to do is just maintain the 64 in each generator. Whoops! Instead of having to actually fill them all up with 64 to begin with, so things start off a little quicker, start off a little faster, and you can see they're all filled up here with your uh, cells. That took two trips to get more cells. <laughs> Put what's left over back in here. Let that work again. And let us now put my bag here. I kept everything I needed. I'm going to need the glass fibers. Going to need the timer. 
going to need the red alloy wire and I'm going to need a oops, stick and a piece of cobble. <sighs> And going to need my plaza for stone. If you didn't know, if, uh, you, you hit the X button. Oops. Yeah, X button. Here it is. You get to have a little portable crafting table here. Kind of nice. So there you go. Got a good lever out of that. Come down here. Uh, Got a stack of cells. Open up your filter and put a whole stack in there. It'll pull a stack at a time into the system. Kind of part of what my system works here, anyway. Uh, bum, 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 bum. And I'll just put it right here. Okay, so. Lever, oops, turned on. Timer. Set this for 45 seconds. That's all you really need it for. Oops. That'd be more than sufficient to keep up with everything. And flip the lever on. At first, it's not going to do anything. Oh, and I dug out this so I can see what's going on down here. But uh, I can see. Nothing's flowing right now because we don't, they're all been primed and full. So it does pull a stack of 64 out. It'll fill whatever one you filled in its grid and send it back into the filter and plug it up and keep it from sending any more until it actually one's needed. So that's why you don't, you don't why you prime it first. It helps out this whole system here. Now let's get this thing wired up here. Before I hook up this last wire here, let me get one more thing on my deck of tricks. And that would be my EU reader. Oops. Like so. And how much is it putting out? Click why, a little bit. 520 EU per tick. Mm. I'm using a little bit no cable, but that's okay. That's still 520 EU per tick from a little small footprint like this. And it's producing, producing more energy than this thing can actually output. So this thing will never be drained. It'll be always kicked in. This will keep it going more than easily. And come down here and we can probably see if anything comes out or not. Probably not yet. But there you go, folks. That is your system right there. As you can see, it's going around filling up all the ones that you filled up. And long before the thing could tick again, okay. Well, it's okay. These will bounce around and not drop on the ground. Unlike Buildcraft, the red power pneumatic tubes will understand things like inventory a lot more better than Buildcraft will. It won't just discard things on the ground. It'll just jam up the works until it's more needed. But there you go, folks. There's my tutorial on how to produce a GU farm. You guys have fun, enjoy yourselves, and I'll see you all again later.